There we go. There we go. I'm Hector Ceballos Lascurain. I'm a Mexican architect, international ecotourism consultant, and I've done work in very many countries around the world. Hector, and I love planet Earth. Hey, Hector. Uh, many people, including myself, credit you for coining the word ecotourism. We're celebrating the 25th anniversary in July 2008. Can you tell us how that came about? Yeah, Ron. Uh, this happened uh, in July 1983, exactly. I remember at that time I was uh, president of Pronatura, uh, an NGO in Mexico dedicated to nature conservation. And I also was working for the government at that time in the Ministry of the Environment. And we're talking about the ways that Pronatura could conserve the natural uh, resources of the estuaries in Yucatan, in the peninsula of Yucatan, in Mexico, specifically in Celestun. And uh, for the big attraction is uh, 20,000 flamingos, these beautiful pink birds that live there in Celestun. So I was saying that we should be trying to conserve these birds through a phenomenon which uh, I used the term for the first time, ecotourism, like shortening ecological tourism. That means ecotourism means going to natural areas to enjoy the natural elements found there, landscape, or flora, fauna, but in such a way that we're uh, uh, minimizing negative impacts and we're providing uh, sustainable livelihoods for the local people. Mm -hmm. That's ecotourism. Okay, let me ask you this. How have you seen ecotourism develop in Mexico? Well, uh, I think things are, have been happening. Maybe the first 20 years, at least 25, weren't as fast as we would have expected. But maybe in the last uh, several years, we see that the curve is going rapidly up. First of all, it's a buzzword. Everybody knows the term ecotourism, at least here in Mexico. Sometimes people don't understand exactly what it's about. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they confuse it with sustainable tourism, which is a broader concept. But in general, people relate uh, ecotourism as this new kind of tourism, going to natural areas and enjoying what you find in nature. Mm -hmm. And uh, in that sense, I think Mexico is uh, advancing, not as fast as other countries. We're not going as fast as Costa Rica or as Kenya or maybe as New Zealand or Australia or Peru. But uh, we're making uh, some advances and uh, finally the government, and I'm talking of the Ministry of Tourism and the Ministry of the Environment, they're finally recognizing that ecotourism can be a very good situation for conserving our rich natural heritage plus the cultural heritage and give very good options to the local people mm -hmm. so that they can dedicate themselves to this activity called ecotourism. Hey, in Mexico, do they call it ecotourism or do they call it ecoturismo? Ecoturismo, of course. And uh, ecoturismo, uh, I think uh, in practically every region of Mexico, I hear that there, there's ecoturismo projects sprouting mm -hmm. everywhere. I've been involved in a number of them. Some have been success stories, others have been so so, others have been a disaster, a fiasco, a white elephant. But uh, things are happening slowly, mm -hmm. and I look towards the future very optimistically. And I think that finally Mexico will receive the attention that it should receive as a main ecotourism destination around the world. We have so much to offer the world, both natural and cultural heritage.